So I know I'm slacking you guys. I didn't put a video out um, yesterday or on Sunday and it's just because I've been really busy but I have a video for you today and it's actually a really good video um, and so it's talking about the I think top 10 really they have top 20 fastest growing professions um, in the US and I saw a really daunting statistic so I want to share it with you so that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Alright, what's up you guys? Sit down and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so again, I saw this um, and it popped up on kind of like my little Yahoo stream, I guess you could say, um, that comes up on my phone twice. So I know like maybe because I clicked it and then it came up again, they were like, alright, you know, you, you gotta see this. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. I'm gonna share my screen with you all as well um, because, you know, uh, yeah, it's 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 something that you need to see and this is not like any type of clickbaity thing I know you see the the title of this video and you know my thumbnail and this is not about getting clicks This is like legit something that you need to consider if you are trying to become a PA Okay, and so it says the top 20 fastest growing jobs let me put this down from my screen so that you guys can see this. So it talks about the job market shifting and then it gives you this like nice little um, graph, I guess you can say, all right? So a, a little image that you can look at and it shows you the occupation on the left and then the percentage of employee change over the next 10 years and then the numeric, like the employment change over the next 20 to 30 um, 20, 2020 to 2030, which is the next 10 years, and then the average rate um, wage that they'll see. So wind turbine is like number one with a 60% growth in the job market. Um, it only will have 4,700 jobs available, which like is really not that much. Okay. Um, their me their median annual wage is 56. So it shows NPs is next. So you know, you guys, you know, I love the PA profession, all right? But let me tell you, like, this statistic that it has that NPs are growing at a rate of 52.2% over the next 10 years and that there is uh, 114,000 jobs available for them over the next 10 years, that's, like, that's actually pretty good, okay? Especially with your median um, wage of being over 100,000. Solar is next, so again, you know, clean and renewable energy is like a big thing. It's it's what like all of the politicians are talking about. That's why you know, go electric. Use my Tesla code, y'all. <laughs> if you think about getting a Tesla, use my code. But this is just you know showing that again, clean and renewable energy. So you have like physical therapy assistants, and then I just want to kind of bring you down to physician assistants. So I think their number, let's let's see what number we are, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we are the tenth fastest growing um, profession over the next 10 years. But we're only growing at a rate of 31%. Um, which again is still pretty pretty decent. Um, but look at our numeric employment. It says 40,000. Now, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about because I know like I've heard so many people are like, oh my gosh, the PA profession is so saturated, it's oversaturated, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? Like, uh, I was able to get a job. I know that there are people able to get jobs pretty, you know, fairly easily. It's not oversaturated because we're, you know, the profession is being more well known and, you know, there are more and more jobs popping up. But this statistic shows that it is. It shows our median average is 115, which is cool. Um, but, like, if you think about it, there are over 300 PA programs, okay? And with that being said, it it goes to boast, right? On I'm, I'm gonna go a low average for you guys, okay? So there are about, let's say 40. 40 students in each um, incoming PA program, okay? Over 300, so all right, you know, there, that's, there's, there's a, a good amount, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna just kind of do some math here, right? So you're, you have 12,000 potential graduates each year. And now 
In terms of how many graduate, maybe not all 12,000 is graduating, maybe not all 12,000 is passing their boards um, that first year. So like, mm, let's just, let's, let's bring it down to 9,000. 9,000 possible people that are looking for a job. Now, if you look at this statistic, where the statistic says that there are 40,000 jobs available over the next 10 years, and if we just break that down to about 4,000 jobs a year, to be spread out over 9,000 potential job seekers, that's, that's a tough statistic, and that's a really tough pill to swallow. And so obviously there are like some more things to talk about, and you know, we can talk about it on this channel. You can always come back, subscribe, like, leave a comment. We're gonna talk about some of these things, but honestly, like, really and truly it's pretty it's something that you have to you have to think about i had people in my life that did not get a job for a whole year uh, after graduating and granted we had a pandemic that we had to deal with but at the same time this statistic kind of lends to that the fact that you know what there are 4000 jobs really and truly that are going to be kind of brought out and then there are 9000 people fighting for it with respect to like NP field. And you guys know I am all about like PAs. I love my profession. I love my job as a trauma PA. I do get to see a lot. I love the lateral mobility and all of that stuff. But when you're going up against these odds, these are the type of things that you need to think about because yeah, you once you get in, like it's good because yeah, lateral mobility is cool. You can move from here to here. It's easy to find a job once you already have a job. But if you're a new grad coming in and you're going up against you know, 8,999 other people looking for 4,000 jobs. And that's something that you want to keep in mind, okay? So is the profession saturated or will it be saturated over the next 10 years? You know, seemingly so. What do we have to do to make that not happen? Um, I think that channels like mine um, and some other people that are on YouTube and, you know, our Instagram accounts and um, just more awareness in general is one way of getting more jobs out there. I think we need to have more physician allies. Um, and I think that, you know, our, our governing body needs to do a lot for us in terms of advocacy so that, you know, all of these schools that are popping up and these students that are getting accepted into these program and sub subsequently graduating from these programs actually have a bright future and a bright job outlook. Okay. All right. So hopefully that made up for me missing the other two days, you guys. Um, come back again on Sunday. I will have a video for you on Sunday and Tuesday. Um, and I can't wait to do this thing that I've been trying to do. So I'll be streaming on Tuesday. So please um, show up for that because uh, we're going to be looking at some things that I think you'll be very interested in. All right. If you guys haven't already done so, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, um, and follow me on Instagram. Instagram at Adon the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your comment in the comment section below. I'll talk to you guys next time. 